That overweight kid helped me. We kidnapped Paula. You know, she's hidden in a mountain cabin. Uh-oh. Now I've done it. I thought you were one of us. <laughs> you know I was joking. <laughs> Just forget about this. So Paula is here. Well, it looks like we're going to be finding her this episode. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, we made our way through Peaceful Rest Valley, which wasn't peaceful at all. This time, we're going to be rescuing Paula because she's at, she has been captured at the hands of an overweight kid and this strange, shy guy masked child. I, I really have no idea why he's wearing a mask. It's kind of... I don't know, it's a little bit disturbing to me, because they don't explain it. It's not like, hey, I'm wearing a mask because I am shy. They don't explain it, which makes me really creeped out by it. It's like Five Nights at Freddy's or something. Or Five Nights at Freddy's 2, it's creepy. Okay, let's go in here, because... To start off this... Oh, you moonwalked. Don't, don't act like you didn't, I saw you moonwalk. Uh, to start off this episode, I am going to talk to this guy because he will offer us a place to rest. We're all like one big happy family here in Happy Happy Village. Basically, our policy is to only allow family members to stay here in the village. However, if you are interested in learning about Happy Happyism, we may make an exception and let you stay for $50. Very well. Be, and be sure to do your blue blue chant before bedtime. Last episode, I said that I was going to be uh, resting in between episodes, but that was rather a rather foolish thing to say. And this is this room's kind of pretty; it's all blue. That was a rather foolish thing to say because it would mean that I would have to talk to that guy and not show his dialogue, and then you would miss it. And I don't want that to happen, so I decided to do it at the beginning of this episode. It's really not that big of a big. It's not a big biggie, which is redundant. I'm just a plain old cow, but Mr. Carpenter's message is always MOVE ME! <laughs> Get it? Because he said moo. He's like channeling Chugga Conroy. When I painted everything blue, as Mr. Carpenter said, my wife who'd run out on me returned home. Good for you, son. I'm glad. Mr. Carpenter wants a girl. No, I don't mean it like that. I mean he's looking for a girl who can be the high priestess of happy happyism. I heard he's already got her. So, presumably that's Paula. Whoa! Where did you come from, Mr. Man? You can't just, you can't walk, I'm sorry, you can't do that. That's, that is not allowed. That is not allowed for you just to just run out of a tree. <sighs> okay, well, at least he's gonna pay for his crime. He's going to pay in red. Do you get what I mean? 350 experience. Now, this guy would he would heal any status ailments you have if you had them, um, but I don't need that. And in fact, I'm going to fight these cultists. Hello! Your cultist buddy didn't come and join you, so you don't have any friends. Let me just attack you more. Now, it is... I, I constantly say, it's worth your while to farm here, but it's worth my while to farm here because these guys don't do too much damage but they give a lot of experience, and they call friends into the battlefield. If you can de defeat those friends... Ha, <laughs> you got a green swirl. If you can defeat those friends, then you can get a lot of experience, uh, possibly up in the thousands. You can get thousands of, ex of experience just in one battle because, he consi because they consistently call uh, allies to the battlefield. And it's pretty neat. But these ones aren't doing that, so I'm just going to attack them and end their game. Isn't that good? I always win battles, because that's what I tend to do. So, I would like to talk to a couple people around here, just because we won't be able to talk to them and have them say the same things later. Blue, blue. I wish for everything in this world to become blue. Inspiring words. What about you? I think that those who won't paint everything blue are opposed to peace. I want them all to listen, even if it requires kicking their butts. So, he wants to paint the town red if people object to him painting it blue. Right? I mean, that's what he's saying. I mean, it's complete oxymoron. He wants to... He wants to paint the town red if people don't like him painting it blue, because that just makes sense. It's it's a fallback. If people don't like one color, he has to do another color, except you'll paint it with their bodies. I'm monitoring those who don't pay at the food stand. And if we go to the food stand, we trust you. Feel free to shop here. What would you like to buy? We can buy the banana, which I don't care about, or the fresh egg, which I could get, and I would make a profit off of it. 
I already explained this in Burglin Park, but if you get a fresh egg, after a couple minutes it'll hatch into a chick, and then a chicken. And you can sell those chickens back to merchants uh, for like a $100 profit. So here, right at this place, is one of the best places to abuse this particular method. Because you can get these for free, even though, it, even though it shows a cost, I don't have to pay that cost. I can just take it for free. Which me and the only uh, the only punishment is fighting this unassuming local guy. So I could fill my inventory up with the eggs, uh, leave Earthbound on for two, three, four minutes, come back, sell off all my chickens which have hatched by then, and then come back and repeat the process. I don't have to play the game for long. Oh wait, I need to talk to that guy over there, over there. I don't need to play the game for long. I just have to leave it on for a while. There's a place ahead that can't be pla painted blue. It's a strange and anti-blue place. I can't stop thinking about it. And I can't even go near that place. Huh, so there's an area which is immune to their blue or red painting ways. Well, we need to remember that. Oh, hi guys! How are you doing? You want to party? Okay, let's party. All the- they trapped me! Oh no, I was trapped! I have no choice but to attack! Oh no! Let's just attack them! Hopefully they'll call friends. They called friends! Yeah! They called friends! I like the friends! <laughs> yeah, Dougie! <laughs> to bring back a no Nokami joke, because that, that Let's Play was a while ago now. 69 damage, yay! It's hard to think that Okami is, you know, a while ago. I mean, obviously it was my last Let's Play, but it started last summer, and it's almost a year since I started it. That's pretty cool. Will you paint more, call more friends? Because I went to farm. Oh, no one came. Now, a good strategy is to kill all the enemies on screen here, but one, and defend until he calls for help. When he calls for help, you kill him. I, I keep saying kill. You beat him, and then you let the remaining one call for help. In fact, I, I'll defend one turn. Just see if he's going to do that. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Well, that's fine. I don't really I don't really need it that much anyway. But I got a lot of experience from this. Probably like, yeah, 1,000. And I hit level 17. Guts went up by 1. Vitality went up, up, up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 14. Maximum PP went up by 2. Yeah, that was an okay level up. It healed me a bit, which I don't mind. And uh, any level up is going to seem... Paltry? I think that's a term. A term I don't use very often, but I think it's a term. Any level up is going to seem small compared to the level up I got last time. Okay, let's see if I can avoid most of these crows. Don't... Both crows? No, not just one crow. And in fact, I might be able to, to start a chained execution. That's the highest bash attack we've ever seen. Smash attack, I mean. 185, we need to remember that. Present, there's a cookie. I don't want the cookie, but I'll use it to start the chained execution on this guy. Green swirl. Yeah, now the next one. Watch this, watch this. Okay, that's two enemies. Don't want the cookie. Don't want the cookie. Uh, no, no, I don't want the cookie. Yes, I will. Okay, now this guy. Hello. Green swirl again. In fact, we'll be able to get four. Oh, goodness, this is cool. Look at this. We're just chaining them all together. It's like a... It's like a mass dance of death. Da doop a scoop a deep a doop a doop a deep bop a boop a doop a doop boop scoop a doop a doop boop. I will kill all the crows in the world. The boop a doop scoop boop. I think that's I think that's all the crows. So my my rampage song can end. No, there's one more crow, but I won't be able to reach it. Oh, but we killed four crows in that chain. It's like totally Assassin's Creed up in here. And if you recognize this area, we saw it last time, barely. Uh, there, that cave is the entrance to Happy Happy Village. An alternate, well, the entrance from Peaceful Rest Valley, which is where we are. It's Happy Happy Village. Oh. There's, there's Paula. Which is strange, considering we are not in a mountain cabin. We are in a cabin in the middle of a valley. So, I think the, I think the localization team got it wrong there. Who? Are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have to try to bust out of here. You can't open the door. You'll have to get the key from Carpainter. He's got it hidden away. I heard Carpainter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear this Franklin badge, okay? What? You do want to get fried by lightning? 
get rid of something so I can give you the Franklin. Oh, sorry. My bad. Let me just eat this cookie. I would give the cookie to you, but that's not an option, I don't think. Okay, now let's get the Franklin badge, which will allow. It, it'll make. Uh, if it's just inven. Let me let me try that again. If it's in our inventory, any lightning attacks that would normally hit us will instead be reflected right back at the atta the user of said lightning attack and damage them with their own attack, which is pretty useful. I'll wait here until you return. Come back here and get me once you defeat Carpainter. Don't worry about me. Just kick butt like I know you can. Thanks, Paula. We now have a lady friend to fight for. Can I avoid you? Eh. Eh. Ah, I tried. Hey, Ness, you're just here to bother me, aren't you? Pokey. You could call me Master Pokey, since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person in Happy Happyism. You should join us, but I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will. Later, Potato. <sighs> I always knew Pokey was no good. Let's just, let's flick this spiteful crow out of the way. There it is. I just flicked him in the beacon that turned him into dust. Now I can do the same to his pals. They're not my pals. They're someone else's pals. They, they have to be someone else's pals. They'll probably call for help. Well, do you do have any friends, cultists? Do you have friends? You don't have friends. I, I really want to see if you have friends. Do you have friends? Call for help. No one came. Do you have friends? I'm really too curious about this. I want to see if he has friends. Is that so much to ask? Just call for help and see. There there you are. You have your friend. Your name is Barry. Your name is Carrie. And next one will be named Larry, even though that's not how the alphabet works. I attacked. Barry is about out of the count. He probably will be in a sec. There he is. And now, Carrie? You have dairy! Is dairy a, dairy a name? I don't know. I don't really care either. Okay, dairy! Do you have a friend? Tell me. I'm really curious. It will, it will be the highlight of my life if you do. Please tell me you have a friend. Do you have a friend? No, you don't have a friend. Oh no. Defend. I don't know why I'm farming up like this. I don't need farm, but... I, w I'm, I really want to show this off. I really do. Even though they're doing a lot of damage to me, I can heal it off with just one uh, life up. Okay, one more defend. And then call for help. No one came. Okay, so he's out of friends, so let's just finish him off. Good boy, Ness. You did exactly what I wanted you to do. 1,400 experience, and I got a cookie. I don't care. I will throw the cookie away. Ness abandoned the cookie. And... It there goes Pokey, because he's a coward. Come back here, Pokey. Catch you. And we only have a thousand experience till the next level up, which will probably be this episode as well. Isn't, isn't that great? I love getting multiple level ups in episode. It just feels good. I feel like I'm getting powerful. Man, it's nice. Especially when they're good level ups. I mean, I'd gladly s sacrifice two bad level ups for one fantastic one like last time. But, I mean, if I can't get that, two, two is fine, because it's level progression, and I learn things. Okay, where am I going? I'm not going to the cow. I'm going... Oh, cultist. Sure, I'll fight you both. I'll fight you both. I might be high enough level that I can start insta-killing them soon, which I wouldn't object. See, look at this. I don't mind. I honestly don't mind. They call in their friends, and... Normally, I'm like, no, I don't want to fight another enemy, but these guys are just so incredibly weak and give me so much experience that I'd never mind fighting a ton of them. Okay, could you call in your friend, please? Call for help. Call 911. Call in Chief Strong. Okay, yeah, they're not calling for help, but that's fine. I don't mind. Let's just use Life Up Alpha a couple times out after this battle and heal up. Ness gained enough experience to gain a level up, and we got- Oh! Oh! That's a rare drop! Oh man, oh man, no, 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 no. I need to throw something away for this. I need to throw something away, yes. What do you want to throw away? Um, I'll throw away the bomb. I really want to keep them the exit mouse, but I'm- that may not- Oh wait, I have a Mr. Baseball cap. Why do I have the Mr. Baseball cap? That's ridiculous. Uh, bomb. And then I'll- <laughs> Off screen, I'll throw the Mr. Baseball cap away. Yeah, throw away the bomb. 
that's a rare drop. I believe that has a one, 1 in 128 chance of being dropped. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I talked to you. None. Okay. There you go. You actually helped me there. But yeah, that's the PSI Caramel will restore 20 PP. It is one of the few consumables in the game that restores PP. And like I said, that only drops out of these guys, if memory serves, 1 in one in a 128 chance. So ex it's extremely rare. Ness's level is now 18. Maximum PP went up by uh, HP went up by 3. Ness realized the power of PSI Flash Alpha. Now, before I explain that, I would like to go sell off my cap because I need to. Much better. I just defeated another cultist because I think I'm addicted to beating up cultists. It's like candy, man. I, I've i always said, I have always said that I love grinding in video games. I don't know why it gives me such good feeling, but it feels good. I just can't get enough of it. Okay. Uh, no, I want to go to status and psych abilities because I learned a new one. Flash. PP cost of 8. It generates a strong flash and can make the enemy start crying uncontrollably, and in some circumstances, feel strange. When an enemy or an ally is crying uncontrollably, it makes them miss most of their bash attacks. They can use anything else, but their bash attacks tend to miss. So, it's, bas it's pretty much paralysis, but a little bit weaker. Pretty much. But it is, I, in my opinion, it's more annoying than paralysis, because... It just is. I mean, it's kind of demoralizing to have your character crying. And, I don't know, it, it's a psychological thing. Uh, and some, circun some circumstances feel strange. Feeling strange makes you attack your allies and sometimes yourself. So, it's not that bad, and it can be abused against some enemies. Uh, let's use Life Up Alpha on myself, because I'm... Now I'm healthy, okay. I did sell the Mr. Baseball cap off screen. I will not be getting these presents. Okay, these guys won't attack me. Uh, yeah, it's like, <laughs> imagine this. Um, insane Cultist Alpha, or oh, sorry, Insane Cultist A called in a friend. 500 Insane Cultists joined him. And Ness is like, oh, snap. <laughs> uh, but in that present is a croissant, which is just a, ba a better hamburger. And we can bother this guy because he's in the middle of prayer. Okay, I'll move out of your way. Go quickly. Good thing these these guys won't attack me. Uh, the, the way you tell that one of these guys... I just keep saying guys. Uh, that you can talk to one of the cultists is that they're moving in place faster than the others. I know it's not an easy way to tell, but you can still tell. This guy's moving really slowly, so we can't talk to him. But this guy is dancing in place. He's doing jazz hands, so we can talk to him. Blue, blue. What? Are you saying I'm only capable of walking the place? That's not true. See? And trick them into moving out of the way. Green, green. Oops, that's not it. I'm still new at this. And get in here. I believe this has... Oh, what does this have? This has a skip sandwich in it. And I don't need a skip sandwich. Uh, we're... Okay, I can talk to these two guys. Blue, blue. I'm trying to whistle... I'm trying to learn how to whistle. I heard that whistling makes one smile. I'll practice over there. That's... I'm kind of jealous because I can't whistle outward, something I've tried all my life, but I just could never do it. I always whistle inward, which... I don't know. It... I mean, it works, but it's not as good. Blue Blue, you strange unmasked, unmasked fellow, don't go to heaven! That's quite an insult. Well, you are not going to be killed today. I will just knock you out. The insane cultists are just so weak that I'm kind of picturing Ness walking through the crowd and saying, excuse me, pardon me, coming through, I, I have important business here, and they're like, no, you don't, you don't walk through me, and then I attack him, and he just nudges them aside, and they go flying against a wall. That's kind of what I'm picturing here. Blue, blue, why would a person who's not blue be here? Blue, blue, your outfit, the color is wicked. These two guys are on top of each other. I'm not sure if you can see that, but they are. Can I talk to... No, no, no. I want to talk to the other guy, because there are two guys right on top of each other right here. Can I... Tr can I talk? Like, look at this. You can... It's obvious. You can see it. There are two guys here. It's weird. 
Blue, blue. This should wake you up. Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Ness got the key to the cabin! Yippee ki yay! Hallelujah! Snorktopus! Yay! Now, it's not entirely your fault. You painted the town a beautiful color. You did. I'm not I'm not lying. Blue is a gorgeous color, and you don't see it much in the game. It's pretty, especially this shade of blue. It's an absolutely gorgeous sapphire blue. So you're the boy that you went after Mr. Carpenter and you're awesome! Thank you, Wally. You are too. That stash of yours and <laughs> that's pretty much it. There are only three people remaining. I don't want to stay. I'll get out of here. Good idea. It looks like almost everyone woke up and left. Hopefully you burn those hoods because they look atrocious. I don't need the skip sandwich. I can't even hold it. Sorry about everything. Let's be buddies. That's fine. As long as you're not pokey. Oh, speak of pokey. Speaking of pokey. What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Ness, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Uh, okay? Ha! I lied! See you, sucker! <sighs> Pokey! I mean, he's, he doesn't really do anything bad, he just causes mischief all over the place. They said someone named Pokey stole all the food from the food, food stand. See, look at that, he's stealing food and is not a good situation. Let's go in here and go back to Paula, because we can rescue her now. And we kind of need her, and we shouldn't leave her there to die. So, however many episodes in, seven, and we're getting a new party member, that's pretty nice. And we can kill this crow. Not insta-kill it, but we'll be able to start a chain of executions on the second crow. I'm already getting annoyed with my own term. It's not even- I, I kind of made that term up, too. It's not called that, it's just, you know, it's something from Assassin's Creed, and it's the same thing. I don't even think it's called anything by the community, so I just decided to coin a term temporarily. Okay, you! Hello! Green Swirl! You're gone too! Aren't you wonderful? I don't want the cookie! I wish I could just deny the cookies. I don't want the cookie. Yes, I'll abandon the cookie. <sighs> well, we're back in Peaceful Rest Valley, which is cool. Uh, let's go in here. And rescue Paula without saying another word. Oh, I forgot we, that we got the PSI Caramel. That was the thing that happened this episode. Thank you, Ness. You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. Paula joined you. We now have a friend! We're not going through this alone anymore. After all this time, we finally have someone to talk to. We have a girlfriend, yay. So, Paula, first, let me give you your stuff, because I bought it last time. Give to Paula. Ribbon, you can have that. And also the, where is it? Fry pan, give, Paula. There you go, anything else? Could you hold on? You know what? Uh, take this. Yeah. Take the cup of life noodles. I'll hold on to it, but I don't need it right now. Now, if we look at Paula's stats, she's level one. All of her stats are two. Her HP is 30. Her psychic points are 10. That sounds like a rap, but I don't know how to rap all day like a like I really can. That actually turned out better than I thought. Uh, let's equip her weapons. Her weapon is the fry pan. It raises her offense by 10. Not a gigantic increase, but she's not meant to be doing bashing. Her other raises her defense by 20, which is a gigantic increase. Now, as for Paula's psychic ability, she has... Uh, there it is. PSI Freeze Alpha. It causes a very cold wind to swirl around one enemy, inflicting about 180 points of damage. May free, it may freeze the enemy completely, and it's not effective against some enemies, but that's fine. It has a PP cost of 4, so picture one magic butterfly heals up 20 PP. She can use 5 uh, PSI Freeze Alphas for the cost of one butterfly. That's fantastic. and. That's something I need to explain about Ness, because you thought I had explained everything about him. No. 
Now that we have another party member, I can explain Ness's role in the group, because we have a group now. Ness is actually the support healer of the group. Doesn't doesn't really jive, right? Because usually the main character of an RPG does almost everything except heal. He is like this gigantic powerhouse that can do everything. But Ness is not that case. In fact, if you look at his psychic abilities, three of them are support abilities that can be used on other people. He has shield alpha, so he can shield an ally. He has hypnosis, which will put one enemy to sleep, reducing the amount of damage it does. Or he has paralysis, which does the same thing. So his psychic abilities are primarily defensive. He has recover. He has life up abilities that cure uh, that cure status ailments or restore health. So he's you you can see how he's carving out a niche as a support character. He has offensive abilities which cost a lot, but don't do a ton of damage. But they do it to the entire group of enemies. So it's mainly meant to finish off a wave of enemies, not kill it in one hit. Paula is meant to kill them in one hit. PSI Flash, which can, once again, AoE status ailment. So he's a support character, which I find really cool because not many, many main characters are like that. And Paula, oh, oh, and then also Ness, since he has such high offense and defense, he focuses on using bash attacks mostly to deal damage, so he can save his PP for the the supporting uh, the supporting psychic abilities that don't cost a ton of PP. So you can really see he's carving out a niche as a support. And then Paula, her mana pool, uh, mana pool. That's funny. Her PP pool uh, is small right now, but it will quickly, very quickly, outgrow Ness's. Her HP won't ever be that high, but her PP will be astoundingly high, to the point where I can use Freeze Alpha like every battle and never worry about using up too much PP. And she gets other psychic abilities as well that attack uh, like groups of enemies or specific enemies or work better based on how many enemies are on screen at once. She does the damage of the group. Ness is meant to support the group while not compromising damage entirely. Ness bashes his way through the game, Paula uses psychic abilities. It's pretty cool, but for now, Paula is level 1. And next time in Earthbound, because I'm going to end it here, we are going to be going through this, let me get there, this cave entrance, because there's an area there that seemed rather strange from what this guy said. I'm a changed person, I, no, I am no longer a believer in happy happyism. Anyway, I'm very curious about the place that lies ahead of here. So we'll be going through there, because that will lead us to an area we need to go. Another your sanctuary, another your sanctuary location. In the process, we can hopefully level Paula up from level 1 to something a little bit more respectable. She'll gain levels very quickly. In fact, you can see she only needs 8 experience to the next level, so she'll level up quickly and catch up with Ness in no time. But for the meantime, we have a new party member! Yay! Our group's growing. I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Earthbound. I release new episodes of, of Earthbound Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and uh, if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I will see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Earthbound. Earthbound, 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 Earthbound. In a good game. See you guys then.